When people think about oil fields, they usually visualize derricks, pump jacks, pipelines, and gas flares. But oil fields have other aspects as well. Along with petroleum, most oil wells bring water to the surface. Temperatures usually increase as you drill deep into the earth, so water that comes from rocks in oil wells is often hot and laden with mineral salts. In the wrong place, hot mineral water is a problem, but it can also become a valuable resource. Research here at the Rocky Mountain Oil Field Testing Center in Teapot Dome is working to put the byproduct water and heat to good use. For example, the warm water can be used to raise tilapia, a tropical fish that is a high quality protein food. The hot water can also be used to heat greenhouses cheaply, allowing production of valuable plants in cold, high latitude locations. Large fish farms and greenhouse complexes may one day be common enterprises associated with oil fields. Finally, there are technologies that use hot liquid water to generate electricity. Such a plant could at least produce the large amount of electricity needed to pump oil, making fields like Teapot Dome more efficient and self-sustaining. Teapot Dome became famous for a 1920s corruption scandal, but its lasting importance may be the research that will help people all over the world. I'm Gene Gade of the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service.